Hey everyone, welcome back into our Wednesday night weather. Mike Schultz with you once again on another beautiful day across the interior. It sounds like a broken record, but what a best way to be a broken record for you when you have a forecast that continues to give you lots of sunshine and warm temperatures. Now tonight we're going to be talking about uh, another great evening with clear skies, maybe some see, see some auroras, who knows. And as far as tomorrow, more sunshine and warmer tomorrow. Now the bad news, unfortunately, looks like Easter Sunday may have a few problems. Maybe some rain or snow in the forecast. We'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. Our numbers at the airport, today's high 34. The low last night, 32. The record high, 8. I should say the record high was 53 in 1915. The overnight low last night, 8. The record low, 48 below in 1907. Now, your sunrise and sunset works out to about 12 hours and 41 minutes, a gain of 7 minutes from yesterday. And the satellite and radar shows... Uh, Clouds trying to move up from the south, but they're not making it any further than the uh, Prince William Sound area and around the uh, Anchorage Valley or Anchorage Bowl, I should say. As you can see, not a whole lot going on in the interior. In fact, just mainly clear skies where we enjoy such beautiful sunshine. Now, the rest of the state looks like this over southeast Alaska. It's still raining around the Ketchikan area, but not too bad in Juneau, 46 degrees. Some showers in 51 degrees at Anchorage. How about that? And the showers also at Kodiak, 44 degrees, Cold Bay. Uh, reporting some rain shower activity, 39. 36 at Bethel with uh, just mainly clear to partly cloudy skies. More clouds around the Nome area, 21. Zero at Barrow and 27 degrees at Fort Yukon with partly cloudy skies. Lower 48, a lot of weather to talk about. New system moving on shore. The Pacific Northwest bringing more rain all the way down as far south as San Francisco. But the big news today was the blizzard that broke out across the central plains. Some areas of Denver got close to areas around Denver got close to 18 inches of snow. It's moving out rapidly, but boy, it really left its mark there, that's for sure. As you can see, the storm system continues to bring snow across the Minneapolis area into the uh, Great Lakes, and the system is slowly losing its uh, energy, but wow, that was a powerful storm. Now, the overall system has still got enough that it's going to create some severe thunderstorm activity to the east tomorrow as it moves slowly to the east, so more storms, uh, some of those severe could be all the way up as far north as Nashville. And the overall jet stream, the new jet stream outlook, is calling for a big dip once again over this weekend. So looks like another storm possibly developing, bringing with it uh, some pretty wild weather over the central plains with snow across the Great Lakes. Time once again for our kids weather. And all this week we're talking with the kids from Northern Lights Academy. Tonight, here's a young man with a question about tornadoes. Hi. Hey. My name is Henry and I t attend the Northern Lights Academy and my weather question is how far does an average tornado go from beginning to end? Henry, they usually move about 30 miles an hour, but they can move as high as 75 miles an hour. It just depends how fast the thunderstorm that is accompanying them is moving, but usually about 30 miles an hour. And again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather each night. Tomorrow night, the teacher's going to be here. And do you know which city has the most hail on the average for the year? Well, we'll find out how to answer there tomorrow with the teacher. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. And tomorrow's forecast for the northern sections. Flurries expected for Barrow becoming partly cloudy skies in Nome. And Fort Yukon also looking at partly cloudy skies. Now, here in the interior... You best guessed it, uh, one of the greater forecasts. Again, mostly sunny skies for Fairbanks, sunny skies for Healy and Delta Junction. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s across the region. Over southeast Alaska, a little more rain for Ketchikan, but just cloudy skies expected at Juneau. While over the southwest part of the state, looking at cloudy skies at Cold Bay, rain in Bethel, and scattered showers for Kodiak. And down around the Anchorage Bowl, it looks like for the most part, partly cloudy skies for Anchorage, periods of rain in Valdez, and scattered showers for Homer. And our forecast for the remainder of the night, well, we're looking at uh, a little cooler, otherwise clear skies. And temperatures right around 9 degrees for the overnight low. And tomorrow's forecast, another great day, just like today, but 40 degrees for the high. And look at that forecast for Friday. And then Saturday, again, a chance of maybe some snowflakes in the morning hours. And then with the cloud cover, possibly into Sunday, a little light rain is possible. But right now it doesn't look real strong. But temperatures look really good in mid-40s, as you can see here. Our forecast, I mean, I should say our picture for tonight, sent in by Gary Kahlberg, was up early this morning. 
at midnight and captured these beautiful auroras in Fox last night. So we're saying that maybe some more auroras are possible. As always, photos at ktvf11.com if you have you want to share. And also passing along a little more information about the snow report from Summit for the Arctic Man. Officials report that over 10 inches fell last week on top of a solid base. More snow is expected Friday, so they're looking really good right now for the Arctic Man. Okay, thank you, Mike, and we have run out of time. So from all of us here at the News Center, we hope you have a great night. Good night.